What's going on YouTube out here in the greenhouse? What? Yeah. Finally got these babies transferred out here. Got three totes here full of my super hots. It's full of master blend. I've got it set up deep water culture style with an um, air line going into each one of these. This one actually had to have an air stone because for some reason, if anybody out there knows uh, how to clean these guys up, I don't know, I have a little tiny air stone I meant. Um, I have these big old ones, I got two of them, and no air is coming out. I throw a regular air stone or take it off and air is coming out, but I don't know how to clean these guys that good. So if anybody out there is good with their uh, aquatic type uh, maintenance, let me know. Hydrogen peroxide maybe? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. But uh, anyway, these guys are looking great. I just put them in here, so uh, everything that you're seeing is a result of what happened before they got in here. Uh, might as well start right off. My little tiny BTR, looking great. Let's see, got a little bit of root growth going on, on there. Got some water going in there. They're on a little downward slant here, so I put uh, the smaller roots in the front, the bigger roots in the back, and I did that with each one of these because there's a slight angle to all of them. The front ones, actually, the water will come up into the cup. Uh, it just barely covers the bottom of the cup. The middle ones, uh, uh, it's right to the bottom of the cup and the ones in the back it's a little bit farther beyond but that's my BTR you can see I've got this big old I don't know what the heck's going on but the top of it died so huh, it's all up to the rest of you guy um, who else do I got over here one of my daisy cutters looking beautiful look at all that growth there looking great looks all stunted looks very small but compact doing good got a frog barking in the background I've got my Scotch bonnet right over here. Look at that guy, looking great. Forked way down low, looking very nice. Got some buds popping off. Uh, right beside it here, my red Trini. It's one of my little guys. Yes, I know they're very close. This is step one. Uh, as they get bigger, I'm gonna go ahead and move them out and uh, into more containers. I still have four, five more containers. Uh, three of them being the larger style, two more this style. Uh, so we'll get to that very shortly. Um, really? Oh, no, no, no. I thought it was a white peach. My white devil's tongue here. I was going to say, that does not look like my white peach. White devil's tongue, doing very nice. It's got some growth right here from one of the other peppers. Uh, my teacup, which is right back here, looking very nice. Looking very beautiful. One of my Brazilian brain strains here, looking nice. Hopefully it's going to take root. Uh, here is one of my daisy cutters. Look at this guy, gigantic, very nice. Got some flowers popping off on him, right beside him, her, whatever it is. It is not a Carolina Reaper. It's another daisy cutter. Look at that guy. And that guy is looking great. All kind of new growth popping off. Got some flowers right over here, you can see that. Um, looking very nice. Here's another little flower right down here. Right beside it. Don't even need to look at the label because look, Sugar Rush Peach. Looking great. Got a couple ripe pods on here. Almost ripe. I'm going to call them almost ripe. You can see the rain has actually been uh, dripping on some of the pods there for the very first time. Tons of buds, flowers, everything popping off on this guy. Look at that. And it's just loaded up. Um, who did I miss? This little guy right over here, my yellow maruga. Hey, baby. I love yellow maruga. One of my favorite peppers to grow and eat. Um, mosquitoes everywhere, so excuse if I am smacking myself every couple minutes. My uh, king naga here, looking very nice. Yeah, look at this guy. Got some buds popping off right there, right over here. Looking great. Um, right in the background here, and I got a mosquito biting me right there on my hand. This, bang, gotcha, sucker. Uh, this guy right over here is my daisy cutter, yet another one, looking very good. Can't wait to see what these guys look like when they start podding up. Um, not a yellow brain strain. Oh, baby, my peach ghost. And look at this guy, loaded up with the buds all over no flowers yet it doesn't look like but uh yeah i mean it is loaded up so another one of my favorite ones uh, yeah the peach ghost 
man, I love the flavor of the Peach Ghost. Right behind it here, my Sugar Rush, and it's another one. It uh, has a pod right over there, and it's starting to get loaded up with flowers and buds. Oh, this side is the side that's loaded up with flowers and buds. Look at that. Flowers, buds, pods, everything popping right off on that guy. It won't focus, but you can imagine what it'd be like if it did. Uh, right beside that guy, look at this thing, man. Loaded up, almost ripe pods on there. Tons of sugar rush all over it. Right behind it, I believe that's another sugar rush, right? No, that's my King Naga. But these are more sugar rush here from that plant right over there. My King Naga right behind it, looking very nice. Got some flowers popping off on there. Looking beautiful. White devil's tongue in the background. Look at this thing. This is the plant of the week. Look at all the flowers, the buds, everything all over this guy. I mean, it is absolutely loaded. Look at that. I've got my first pod going on. I am loving this plant. That's from Miss Susan. If you don't know who that is, go check out uh, Pepper Lo the Pepper Lovers community on Google+. She's the moderator over there. Awesome, awesome lady. And I'm not saying that just because she's the moderator. I said that before she was the moderator. Uh, right down here, look at this. Uh, freaking growth. Looking awesome. This is my two um, Brazilian brain strain in one cup. Look at that. Looking great. That was all from indoor growth. These uh, just came out today out from under fluorescence. They've been in under fluorescence since they popped up. Um, all of these guys, all of my super hots, this is their first full day outside, which it's raining, which is perfect. Hopefully it rains tomorrow, and because uh, I'm not um, hardening these guys off, even though I have tried uh, throughout the summer. Uh, there really is no, hey, I got another mosquito, uh, hardening off process. I'm taking Kang's advice and just throwing them out here and see what happens. Um, my yellow trini here look at this guy looking beautiful and again i know they're too close together um that's just how much space i had actually i think i need more master blend i think i used up almost all of my uh supply there just getting these guys situated another sugar rush got a pod right there got a bunch of buds popping off about to be flowers um what else do we have here Oh, another pod right over there. Hey. Um, right behind it. That is not an ahi pineapple. It's another sugar rush peach. And like I said, I just put them out here. Some of these leaves are a little wilty and stuff like that. Because I didn't water them for quite a while. So, they're going to get some water now, though. Uh, I don't really see any flowers or anything on this guy. Oh, that pod belongs to that guy. Oh, and so does these pods right here. And that pod right there. Uh, can I see it? Right there. Look at beautiful little guy. Uh, Scotch Bonnet, I'm guessing. Oh, come on now. i turn it the whole way around. It is Scotch Bonnet. And I figured that because look at how many branches are on that guy. That guy just is taking off like crazy. Um, did we forget this guy in the background? Sugar Rush Peach, I think I did. There's a couple pods on there. I'm sure I forgot this pod right here. Who's that belong to? Oh, that guy. Same one I'm talking about. So, it's looking very good. Three more to go, people. Three more. Um, who do we got? Yellow Trini. Look at beautiful. Look at all this foliage. Looking great. I don't know what's up with the leaves there. That happened under fluorescence, not out here. Uh, another Sugar Rush. Got another almost ripe pod right here. Looking great. I will be doing a pod test on these very shortly. Look at that. Buds flowers everywhere all up in here all the way up in here everywhere another pod over there looking absolutely great and last but not least my beautiful little baby over here look at all that foliage standing up nice and tall don't really have anything to speak of but uh, nice offshoot over here my white peach and if you remember these guys from last year they vine like crazy I didn't top this guy like I normally top all of my peppers I'm an addict so this year I decided none of them are going to get topped whatsoever and we're just uh, gonna see what it happens so there's my white peach and that's just about it that's all of my super hot peppers here thanks so much for hanging out checking out all of my beautiful little babies uh, come back here on Thursdays we've got the uh, lava rock aquaponic garden Tuesdays we've got the hot tub aquaponic garden over here why because it's made out of a hot tub 
Uh, and uh, <laughs> there's actual lava rock in the lava rock aquaponic garden. It's at the bottom. But thanks so much for hanging out with me, checking out all my super hot babies here. They're now uh, closer to being in their forever home. This isn't really their forever home, but it's pretty close. So, like I said, thanks for hanging out with me. Don't forget to throw that thumbs up down below. Make sure if you're new, hit that subscribe button. That way you can come back, check out what else I've got going on. If you want to be notified of whenever that stuff comes out, make sure you hit that little bell there next to the subscribe thing. That will let you know when my videos come out. You don't need to do that. You can just check your subscription feed. It's just that easy. Um, but yeah, if you feel like throwing... Well, before I say that, throw a comment down below. Make sure... Uh, you know, I love seeing the comments, but it's more for everybody else because I encourage everybody to go down into the comment section and find people. Uh, I'm sure there's people down there growing stuff or doing things that you're interested in. So make sure you head on down there and uh, leave a comment for yourself. Um, well, for everybody else to find you, check out the people that left the comment. And uh, yeah, do that fun, happy social media stuff. And hopefully we can help each other grow. Do this on your own video, steal the idea, it's all yours. Uh, I don't claim to say that it's my idea, I'm just doing it. Uh, just like the 30-30 challenge, that's yours if you want it. Uh, if you want to support me financially, you can uh, click my Amazon link down below, do your Amazon shopping, you can go to uh, the search that I already created, it's for Master Blend, what I'm growing these babies in. Um, like I said, deep water culture style, actually, might as well check it out. You can see the bubbling way over there on the far side where the air stone is. But, uh, yeah, decent root growth already. So, uh, yeah, uh, if you want some Master Blend, if you need anything from Amazon, you feel like helping me out, click that Amazon link in my description down below, and that will take you to Amazon, do your shopping. I get credit for driving them traffic. They give me kickbacks on the backside. I don't know how it works. I got a Bitcoin link down below. Uh... I got an Instagram, it's the same uh, thing, it's Instagram.com slash RevToastTV. Uh, if you want to check that out, I believe I only have one post over there, but uh, it's a cute one. It's my Pitbull Pepper uh, Guardian. So, uh, yeah, who's missing from this update? Because you'd probably attack the one wasp, they would all attack, and we would have one heck of a show going on over here. And, uh, yeah, that wouldn't be fun. So, she attacks wasps while she's out on the deck, so I'm sure she would attack them at their nest so anyway didn't put her in this video but yeah thanks for hanging out with me checking out what's growing on um yep got all these videos coming out uh the giveaway is coming out very shortly i'm about to go shoot that with dave here in just a second um and we're gonna have some winners coming out on that if you don't know what i'm talking about sorry you probably missed well you did miss it because the cutoff was today uh or you last night at midnight i can't remember but it's over by the time you see this no matter what uh, and winners have already been picked. So uh, that was a giveaway. So we do giveaways every once in a while. So might have another one coming up soon. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new. Thumbs up are always appreciated. Uh, shares, likes, all that fun stuff. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just rambling at this point. So I will catch y'all in the next video where hopefully these peppers aren't dead. All right, well, yeah, leave it on a somber note. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. I uh, will catch y'all in the next video. Till then, later.